Thank you from our Tuscaloosa newsroom now. The Tuscaloosa Violent Crimes Unit tells us they believe a fire in a truck that claimed a man's life early this morning was accidental. CBS 42's Tim Reed has that story. This is where the fatal fire happened in this parking lot behind the TA Travel Center early this morning around 3 o'clock. Investigators tell us they believe it was an accident, but there's no information available as to how this deadly fire started. It's very sad. I, my truck was actually parked across from where this happened at, so to hear it and to smell it is very tragic. Truck driver Sergio Moore witnessed the deadly truck fire this morning that claimed a 47-year-old man's life. Moore is from Georgia and has been driving tractor trailers 11 years. After today's tragedy, he tells us all truckers need to have a smoke detector inside their truck. Just never know. We have long hours sometimes and we fall asleep. Could have had something plugged in. Might have been cooking, food caught on fire. You no know, smoke detector, you wouldn't know. At least if you have a, some kind of alarm situation, you could understand what's going on. You could be able to react to that. By law, commercial vehicles are required to carry fire extinguishers, but are not required to have a smoke detector. Investigators from the Tuscaloosa Violent Crimes Unit believes this case was accidental. Preliminary investigation uh, has shown that there is no crime here, that this was an, an, uh, an accidental death, an accidental fire. Um, you know, it's a tragedy. Many truck drivers we spoke to were stunned after finding out that a fellow driver lost his life. Captain Kennedy tells CBS 42, since this case does not involve anything criminal, the victim's name will not be released. I don't know the specifics of, of that person's uh, life, but uh, obviously uh, he was working and um, uh, doing what he was supposed to be doing. I just uh, sent the message to my job telling them I might need a minute to get started with my day because I'm a little shook up right now. Captain Kennedy tells us his investigators are in the process of notifying the victims next of kin. In Tuscaloosa, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News. Air quality 